Okay, this video is for all my friends, Jehovah's Witnesses. Jehovah's Witnesses. I have a good book from uh, Price, E.B. Price. It's called All Friends of Jehovah's Witnesses. And I'm reading this page about the prophecies, prophecies that were set by this organization. It started, uh, this is sad because the Jehovah's Witnesses started at the same time as the, as the True Church on Earth, which is the Seventh-day Adventist Church. And Pastor Russell uh, uh, went to study with the Second Adventist. Then he was a pastor at the time. Pastor Russell, he put a date, it's called 1874. And when he put the date 1874, that's when the Bible students or the Jehovah's Witnesses were founded. And there's many false prophecies. So we can see here, on this page, you can check it out. Like in 1874, the Jehovah Witnesses, they said, they said that Jesus will return. 1874, Jesus will return. In, the, in their book, Prophecy, page 65, they say, the scriptural proof is that the second presence of the Lord Jesus Christ began in 1874. And nothing happened. 1874, nothing happened. So they changed the date to 1914. False prophecy. In their book, The Finnish Mystery, page 64, they say, the, the awakening of the sleeping saints in the spring of 1878. 1878, they said the resurrection was gonna happen. The res resurrection did not happen. So the, this date was was taught for 50 years and it was changed in 1918. So uh, the Bible never changes. How can you change dates? And <laughs> this, well, the Bible never changes. From the book Paradise Lost to Paradise Regained, 1958, on page 9192 we read, this was in 1927. In that year, the witness understood that the dead spiritual Israelites has been raised in 1918 to life in heaven with Christ Jesus. It was an invisible resurrection, of course. So what kind of foolishness, man? Uh, 1918, they'd be raised. People have been raised, but spiritually raised. What do you mean, man? This is this is this is this is so 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 wrong. 1881, close. So favor to Gentiles of time of the end, volume two, page two forty five. So we recognize AD eighteen eighty one as marking the close of the special favor. As marking the close of the special favor of the Gentiles, the close of the high calling, an invitation of the blessing peculiar to this age to become joint heirs with Christ and partakers of the divine nature. Eighteen eighty one. They said the close of the Gentiles, no more preaching to Gentiles in eighteen eighty one. Is the gospel still being going to the Gentiles? Yes. False prophecy 1881 by your witness. 1914. The your witnesses they say 1914 they say that uh, Armageddon will take place in 1914. Battle of the Great Day of God Almighty which will end in 1914. The battle will end in 1914. In fact uh, the World War started in 1914. With the complete overthrow of Earth's present rulership. The Jehovah's that prophesied that in 1914, all rulership of the earth, the kingdoms, the governments, the presidents will end. It did that happen? No. It is a false prophecy. In page 99 of their book, End of the Gentiles' Time, we read, Concerning the times of the Gentiles, we consider it an established truth that the end of the kingdoms of this world and the full establishment of the kingdom of God will be accomplished by the end of the year 1914. The society now interprets Gentile time differently. So again, we see here that they say in 1914 there will be the end of the full uh, of the kingdoms of this world. This has not happened. Jehovah's Witnesses are not God's church. That's uh, that's for sure. <laughs> and like, how can you be in a church like this and not you know even study the facts, man? You can be so so dishonest, dishonest. Cause you just follow the, the this 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 church just because. Because you have friends in there or something, but it's not from God. God does not want you to be in there. There's nice people, they're gentle, they're loving, but they're not into the truth. 1914, they say the member, page 77 of the same book, they say the members will be in heaven, all the witnesses. Sometime before the end of AD 1914, the last member of the body of Christ will be glorified. And 1914 passed, and there's no, no draw witnesses in heaven, man. <laughs> And they say in 1914, all the witnesses will be in heaven. It's not true. 1915, the Finnish mystery, page 128, they said that there will be the establishment of the kingdom of God. 
the establishment of the kingdom of in Palestine will probably be in 1925, 10 years later than we once calculated. 1915, they said the Palestine, God's kingdom will happen on earth. This, this, this did not happen. It's a false prophecy. 1918, uh, same book, The Finnish Mystery, page 485, they say the churches will be destroyed. Also in the year 1918, then God begins to destroy the churches and the church members by millions. They say all the false churches will be destroyed. It's not true. This did not happen. It is a false prophecy too. 1920. 1920, they said the republics will disappear by the same book. Even the republics will disappear by the fall of 1920. So they, they, they said in 1920, all the, the, the countries will be, destroyed, will be finished. It's not true. This did not happen. 1925, establishment of the kingdom. Millions not, not living will never die. Page 89. Therefore, we may confidently expect that in 1925 will mark the return of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob and the faithful prophets of old. They thought that in 1925, Isaac, Jacob, every, every, all these people would be resurrected. In fact, uh, Judge uh, Rutherford built a, a mansion, it's called the Beth Sarim Mansion in San Diego. And he said, this, we're going to build this mansion for these people, for all the prophets, so they can live in it. And in uh, 1925, nothing happened. Judge Rutherford moves into the, the house <laughs> until he dies. We have 1925, 1975, the wicked wars end, the kingdom ministry paid, uh, he says, certainly this is a fine way to spend the short time remaining before the wicked wars end. So they fought in 1975, it was the big thing, big thing, so 1975, many people left the organization because of the 1975 uh, false prophecy. They say this is, uh, we are in 1975 and this certainly this is a fine way to spend the short time remaining before the wicked war end. Because they thought the world was ending a few months after. And they say they had to preach the gospel more and more, the false gospel they have. Was God the real author? The time, time is at hand. Our honest prayer is that the truth arraigned the real author of these jewels is, is God. Amazing. They said the, all the books of your witnesses, the author of these books is, is God. And how can God be the author of these books when, the, when there are false prophecies and lies in it? On the book uh, Proclamers of God's Kingdom, page uh, 635, in the margin summary of the admission of the apology, we merely interfered and eventually erred. Interfered, yes, real facts. They were totally wrong. Many false prophecies, this church is not from God. Leave this organization and become a Seventh Adventist. Study the truth. Go to 3abn.org. Go to hop-tv.org or my, my site babble-tube.com. If you want to know more, go to this book. It's called Our Friends, the Jehovah's Witnesses. It's free. It's free. Our Friends, the Jehovah's Witnesses. Free on Google.